Hello everybody, A.B. Lopez here today. We are continuing our intro to bookbinding series. This is going to be part three. So if you guys remember correctly, on the last video, the last thing we did was uh, apply the glue to the back of our fabric and set that to dry on, on a piece of wood. Um, now we will be cutting the board. I'm going to show you guys how to cut the board. And then we're also going to be removing the fabric from the, the piece of wood we placed it on now that it's dry and everything and making those cuts and moving on from there. So let's go ahead and get, get our measurements taken care of and make those cuts on our board, our cardboard. As you guys can see, I have already drawn the lines of where I will need to cut this cardboard. Go ahead and explain here. These are the notebooks. And as you guys can see, there is a slight amount of material on all edges. So according to the back of these notebooks, that's, that's one of the great things about doing this type of book binding, is it gives you the measurements, the dimensions of the notebook. And this one says it's 165 millimeters by 210 millimeters. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut each square to, let's see here, if this says 165, we're gonna cut it to 175 millimeters. We're gonna add 10 millimeters, which is one centimeter. By 210 millimeters, and we will be making that cut at 220 millimeters. Now we have four. Of course, I'm only making one book. My friend here, you can't see her, but she's actually right across the table from me making another one. So I'm gonna go ahead and hand these over to okay, her. Okay, so now that we have our boards cut, um, we are going to remove the fabric from the piece of wood. So, all right, now that we have those cut, I have taken the liberty and already removed the fabric from the piece of wood. As you guys can tell, um, this here along the white edge is where it was glued to the white board facing down. So I just very carefully started removing it and this is what we have. So now uh, I am using this fabric with the lines uh, because this is, this is generally slightly more difficult than fabric with no specific pattern such as this. Um, so this, this fabric here is actually going to be great for demonstration purposes. So now what we're going to do is we have our board, our pre-cut board, and because the fabric has lines, we need to first pick with our ruler, our clear ruler, we need to first pick one of the lines that is straight to make our first cut. So I will be making the first cut here, and that way you guys can see what I mean. Okay, so there's my first cut. And as you guys can see, it's actually level with the lines, with that red line, I mean. So now, we're going to pick an up the other side. So let's make this cut. Now on this one, we do want to pick one side and the second side to, cut, to make our cuts in line with the lines within our canvas. So our second cut is gonna be right here. Cut straight with the lines within our canvas. And that other edge cut straight with the lines within our canvas as well. What I like to do personally is pick the long side to use that as my straight edge and then base everything else from that one. I already know that this one is straight because I cut it in line with the fabric and I measured and was very careful when I made those cuts. So on that one, I'm gonna turn it over and right here on this side, but on the paper side, I'm gonna write first fold. And that, I, I wanna use very little pressure when I write something on here, um, because we don't want it to show on the fabric side. So with that, what we are going to do is measure 1.5 centimeters. OK. 
Okay, so that's going to be our first line. The distance from the line to the edge of our previously made cut is 1.5 centimeters. Now we know that that is straight and our line is as well. So, however, this one here is our straight edge. So we can make a cut right here just to get rid of this extra paper. Not basing it on the lines within our canvas now. That was only the first two cuts. Now the second, or I'm sorry, the third and fourth cuts are going to be in line with that first straight edge cut. Okay, so now we have gotten rid of all of the extra paper that gets in the way. We still have our first fold line. So now we can measure the same distance, which was two centimeters on this side. I'm sorry, one and a half. We decided to go with one and a half. All right, so we'll continue here. Making these marks. And one thing, if you're one of those type of people that likes to skip ahead, note, please do note that I'm making these lines, but I am not cutting at those lines. Those lines are my fold lines. Now on these two sides, I'm about to make two sets of lines. One is the fold line and the other one is the cut line. So be very cautious when you when you make those those lines and know which ones you need to cut and which ones you don't and now this corner here is our 90 degree angle so that's what we're going to use okay so holding the board we're gonna make small mark on this side and on this side those are just reference lines. Now we can come back in with our ruler and actually make, let's use this ruler here. And that's, that's another great thing about this ruler is it's got all of these lines. So you know that if you match that line with one of the straight edges of your canvas, you know that your marks are gonna be straight. And as we discussed before, we always want to measure once, twice, three times. You pick the number until you're comfortable with it before making any cut. Okay. So now we have all four sides marked. So we're going to get our board again and confirm that everything is good on all sides, which it is. Okay, so now this here is my fold line, this is my fold line, this is my fold line, and this is my fold line. I have put circles on all of the four fold lines so that you guys can see what I'm doing. Now, this side and this side has already been cut at the two centimeter mark right here and right here. Now we are going to be doing the marking and measuring and, and cutting of this side and this side as well. Let's make our cuts. Okay, so now we have our canvas cut to the right size. As you guys can see, there's a four fold lines with my first fold marked. First fold. 
and we can confirm everything. Of course, it would be too late. We can't uncut something, but we'll still want to double check before we proceed. All right, and that leaves us with the same amount on all four sides. Okay, now what we are going to do is we're going to glue our board right in the middle where it belongs. As you guys can see, we, we do have the lines inside of all of those lines is where our board will go. So as you guys remember, we're gonna be using the plate with our roller in order to glue our board where it goes. All right, guys, now that we have the glue ready onto our plate, as you guys can see, let's see here, there it is. Now I'm going to use a piece of old newspaper Personally, I like to use the like the ad section that has some sheen to it. Uh, that way it's a little easier. And we are going to place our board on top and apply the glue onto our board. Similar to when we applied the glue to the paper side of the canvas, we're gonna be adding it to the board here. set the glue aside we are going to grab our board carefully remove the newspaper as well and now we are going to get our canvas here now we are going to look and see where our first fold is which is right here which means I need to turn this over because I'm going to match this side which is my first fold side to my first fold side here on the canvas and we are going to very carefully place it right in the middle of all my lines. All right, one, once we have it, I like to do a little push in the middle, make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Okay, again, we're gonna make sure we don't have any dry glue on our hands because we are about to be manipulating the fabric so we don't want any of that glue to get on there okay so now we're gonna turn this over and with a dry rag or in this case a dry towel from the middle we're gonna work our way out okay then I'm gonna grab the towel on one of my fingers and s score the edge. So now we have our canvas and as we decided this here is our first fold side which is the straightest side which also means that's the side we're gonna want on the opening side of the book. So the book is going to open this way with our straightest edge on the, on the forward side. That way it looks good. So this is what the back looks like. With our lines first fold and our lines, same distance all the way around. Now what we need to do is we need to measure and mark our corners so that we can make our corners, our corner cuts and then we'll be making the first, the first fold. Now, to show you guys how it can also be done, I'm going to use a ruler and from the exact corner of my board to the exact corner of my sheet, I'm going to place my ruler from corner to corner in a straight line and I'm going to make a mark at the five millimeter point right there okay so I have made my line it is that dot right there so with my ruler I can come back and make that mark across such as that 
and if you look that and the one that I used the homemade device with are exactly the same.